welcome to my well my mess I've got junk everywhere around me today but so be it um but um yeah what do I want to tell you about so well probably to answer Mike's question about new foam behind me there it is we have it sitting there waiting it is um I think it's a mini goose is it so Mike that's for you I'm in the process of building that but um what I'm actually kind of up to at the moment it's kind of telling you a little bit about something I've done to my X20 so um this is a little bit of an extension to a video I plugged up oh crack it must be three four weeks back and essentially in that video what I've done on the X20 is I made a modified mount that would hold the um the crossfire module it was all kind of an integrated 3d printed mount well everything has to change eventually and um what what I've actually done here because of just what I found out with using this mount so the problem was is every time I put the radio down on the ground the crossfire module would get banged so I came up with another kind of well I think it's a bit of an ingenious idea so um, you can see on the back here what I've done I've integrated a transmitter stand and um, the result is that the radio well I don't actually have something to put it on here but the radio can quite happily sit using that stand now um you may ask yourself, why haven't I just used a regular transmitter stand like so many of you do? Well, it's because you can't get one that works well on this radio. You know, there's a 3D printed one which attaches to this big sort of, well, this actually is the 900 megahertz antenna for FreeSky, but it attached as that kind of 3D printed. It's okay, but it's a little bit, you know, it's not as good as it could be. So, um, well, this is also 3D printed, but I kind of felt, I needed a better access point and um well let me actually pop this off and you can see what i've done so oh, there we go radio and essentially i have printed a new rear case for the crossfire module and this has been printed using an sls resin printer and uh, you know what i've put the files on thingiverse you can download them print them on a resin printer or maybe not even a resin but rather <sighs> Is SLS nylon is what I'm using. I think it, it's basically, I think it's laser sintering is what they call it. But either way, the quality is fantastic. But um, you kind of, you can see the result. I've got the module and I put a couple of lugs on the side of the rear module case. And um, the net result is I then have this little bracket. And we can see there's the module and the bracket comes out, which kind of simple. There's a couple of nuts inside the module and that pops out. And then you've got these two arms. And what those arms do well, when the module's in place, we pop it in here, boom, they basically push against the existing handle. So the result is, boom, and you've got a perfect stand, and you can push it around, and you can play with it. I'm kind of chuffed with it. It's, um, the result is very good. So, um, yeah, that's all I was going to tell you about today. We have a slightly different version of this um, sort of transmitter stand for the Crossfire full-size module. Sadly, we're still waiting for CSRF support for the X20. It will come. We all know it will come hopefully soon. And if Bertrand, if you see this, get on and make us just make it work because I can't wait. But um, yeah, there we go. We have an integrated stand. Um, in fact, I'm inclined if anyone's interested, I could actually make a version which just plugged into the module bay and acted as a stand for the X20. That might actually be an interesting side project. So maybe I'll do that in the future anyway. Um, it won't obviously have a module in there, but it would give people the ability to have a transmitter stand if they want it and they don't use the module bay for anything else. Something to think about. But hey, there we go guys! Transmitter stand and crossfire module. Who would have thought? Cheers, enjoy!